we know that the Son of God is come and has given us an understanding. Well, bless God, if he's given us an understanding, then act like it. <laughs> How do we get this understanding? From the Word. He's given us this understanding. The reason they've never understood the unforgivable sin is, first of all, they don't want to. And secondly, many of the people who have been trying to teach us about the unforgivable sin have been born of it themselves. They stand in pulpits. That's why they can't teach us the accuracy of the word. They're born in the wrong seat. They got it all screwed up. God has come and we're born of God and that we might have an understanding. Understanding. And that you may know what is true? You may know the truth. Remember what we read in John? The truth shall what? Set you free. Read it tonight. And we are in him. That is true. Even in his son, Jesus Christ. This is the what? True God. And there must be a counterfeit. There must be a false God. Counterfeit that false God is the God of this world, is Satan, the devil. This is the true God and what? Eternal life. This is the greatness of this word. So you see, when you put this all together, when you put it all together, it's as simple as apple pie, almost. What did I do with my race? Here is the natural man of body and soul. Now this natural man of body and soul. Now watch it so you don't hang yourself. To whom does he legally belong? Satan. Does that mean he's born of Satan? Nope, but legally he belongs to Satan because Adam delivered the authority, the power and so forth to the devil. And ever after that, when children were born of Adam and Eve, they were just body and what? Soul. And they legally, legally, and everything in the earth, on the earth, legally belongs to Satan. Now, was this true before Pentecost? Sure. Is it true after Pentecost? Where we're living today? Why, sure. Still true. When a, when a person is just body and soul, not born again, who's never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, that person still legally belongs to whom? Now let's say that I accept the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, Romans 10, 9, 10. Then I am body, soul, and what? Spirit. This spirit is seed in me. This is Christ in me. Can I ever lose this spirit? Can this spirit ever sin? This is eternal life. Can I ever lose it? Could I ever sin it away? No, it's I'm born a seed. I'm born a seed. Am, am I born a seed up here? Am I born a seed here? Sure. I am Victor Paul Werewell. How long am I Victor Paul Werewell? As long as I live. Right? Okay. Now take it a step further. Now I'm, I, I Victor Paul Werewell, am born of God. Now I am God's child, spiritually. I'm still my earthly fathers physically. This is corruptible seed. This part of man will what? Die. But this is what kind of seed? Incorruptible. And this will live how long? Eternally. See? Forever. Right. Then, here I am. Can I ever repent of being a Christian? Can I ever go back and say, well, I'm sorry I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ? And get rid of that. No, no more so than I can go back and say, well, I'm sorry, I'm Victor Paul Werewill. Right? My saying, I'm sorry, I'm Victor Paul Werewill, will not take the seed of my daddy and mommies out of me, right? I'm still what? Amen. 
All right, if you're born again of God's Spirit, you could never go back on it. You could never go back on it and say, well, I'm sorry, I'm a Christian. I want to get rid of it. Can't get rid of it because it's what? Uh -huh. This seed you could get rid of. You know how? Commit suicide. Shoot yourself up or drown yourself. Commit suicide. That you could grip. You could kill that, right? But what about this? And you can't touch. All right. Now, when I am born again of God's Spirit, now whose am I legally? Huh? Now I legally belong to the true God. Does Satan have any legal rights over me now? None whatsoever. None whatsoever. But if I do not know this, then once I am born again of God's Spirit here, legally I belong to Satan, but nobody's taught me my legal rights and what I am in Christ. Therefore, now since I'm a Christian, what does Satan do? Since I don't know my legal rights, he puts the screws to me. Boy, he makes me look sicker than a dog. He, he, he decreases my business. He makes my children sick. He does everything to make me look like a fool. All right, you got it? Now turn it around. <laughs> There's a man of body and soul legally belongs to Satan. Body and soul. But that's not what Satan's really after. He wants the same as the true God. He wants people to worship him. The true God says in John 4 that we are to worship the true God in spirit and in what? Truth. So Satan wants people to worship him. And he gets this by getting them born again of the Spirit. And he does it the same way that, that this person was born of this other's. Therefore, this man of body and soul, he gets born of the seed of the serpent. And when he, he gets born, he gets born by his confession, by his action. He accepts the devil or Satan as the true God. And when he does, he gets born of the wrong seed. He thinks it's the right seed. You and I know from the word it's the wrong seed. But what kind of spirit is this? It's, it is seed. It is the devil in them. The seed. Is the devil in their mind? No, 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 it's better than that. He's down in the seed. He's down there someplace that they can't ever get rid of. If the devil was just in their mind... A man of God could come along and do what? Clean house. Get rid of it. Now this is the sin unto death. This is the unforgivable sin. Why is it unforgivable? Because it's blasphemy against the true God who would that all men should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, the Bible says. This is knocking the true God right in the head. That's why it's called the unforgivable sin. It's called blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, whatever else it was. Because he is born a spirit, it's the wrong spirit. Can he ever get rid of this? Nope. Can't ever get rid of it? This is why it can't ever be forgiven. It's the sin unto death. That means nothing stops. Maybe we better handle this just one more way. Aren't you glad you came? I knew it'd be good tonight. It's always good. There's a man of body and soul. Could that man of body and soul go through life without ever getting born of any other seed? Yes, sir. Those are the fellows that are just good buddies. You know, they're fine fellows. Many times, real fine fellows, good businessmen, nice in their society, in their community. As a matter of fact, they're many times more honest than some of the rest. They're just nice Joes. Ah, they eat, drink, and make merry. They have a barrel of fun. They, then they're good. They're just body and soul, just natural man, body and soul. 
not have any, have no seed in them. No seed in them. They can go all the way through life like this without getting born again. Either of the true seed or the, or the wrong one. But if they go all the way through like this, legally when they die, who they belong to. Right. And there's an entirely different judgment for that man. Entirely.